even in the midst of all this disruption we've talked about, all of Iran's pathways to a nuclear weapon have been closed off, and new economic opportunities have been created for the Iranian people. And they are now witnessing some 4% growth. And a potential source of confrontation in the Middle East has been eliminated. Some people say, well, why we do that? Why have that deal? Iran isn't behaving in Yemen, or Iran isn't behaving with Hezbollah, etc. And there are truths. There are still problems. Nobody ever promised we were going to erase all of them. But guess what? That agreement is being kept. And the fact is, imagine confronting any of those other issues with an Iran with a nuclear weapon. Today, a lie, a bold, insidious, evil lie can spread around the world in a nanosecond. And it does so from so many different platforms that the ability to be able to correct it or to communicate to people a common truth has become far harder than at any time in human history. And that has changed how we operate. It has changed how we build consensus, which is sorely lacking in governance all around the world. This is one of our chief challenges today, is to manage information and to do it in a way that average folks at home can know what's real and what isn't, what's true, what's false and try to build consensus around a common set of understandings. Technology has brought the world closer, yes, but it's also enabled bigots and demagogues to spread messages of divisiveness and hate with a click of a button, with the push of a finger. 